a flash movie, everything is a hit. So, if I go to a website, computer.co.il, one hit is the page. Second one, and ten more, are all of the items, all of the images, and the flash movie. So basically, I've got 12 hits for just one visitor who just got into a website. So the number 12 is very, very misleading. Okay? Next. Visitor sessions. Visitor sessions is defined by a series of transactions or hits made by a single user. There's been no activity for a period of time or by resumption of activity by a single user. A new session is considered starting. Basically, we go to a website, we click, we read, we click, we link, we fill out a form. Um, there are industry discussion whether it should be a standard of maximum 15 minutes or maximum 30 minutes. Doesn't really matter. What matters for you is it's the time between I got into the website until I left or ended my visit. Unique visitors. Unique visitors are individuals who access the website within a specific time period. They can be identified only by two methods. Either user registration, people register with the details and then I count them using the address, or a cookie. If you don't have the cookie configured in your WordPress, whatever, you cannot, 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 cannot tell unique visitors. 95% of the tools tell you unique visitors. Okay. Why is the difference? Because some, some uh, approaches uh, try to figure out that if someone goes to a uh, specific IP address, then they're unique visitors. But we all know that when everyone in this building in this company browses the internet, most of them use one IP of the gateway or formula. Therefore, all of these hundreds of users will be counted as one unique visitor, which is obviously wrong. So, to sum up this point, only if I get user registration or if I get a cookie from their computer, is when I can uh, recognize the unique visitor. If not, if I don't have both, it's best just not to look at Unix, just look at sessions. Because if you look at that very misleading uh, item like it really does not matter, especially in your arena of B2B um, uh, services where most of your visitors are from organizations and not end consumers from home. Alright? Page views. Page view is a measurement for summing and accumulating the number of web pages that are viewed from my website. Someone goes to my home page, the about the company, one of my products, the contact page, we will view four pages. When we go to analytic measures, we will try to understand the amount of page views per visitor. How much, how many page views each visitor or unique visitor views in a session. It's an important measurement for our stickiness to know if, if our website is interesting to our users, if they find what they're looking for, if they're waiting enough time, which is the 